Praise the Lord. How are you? My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and this is Just In Case. Good morning. It's nine minutes after ten. It is June 8th. It is 2022. Hope you slept well. I did. I hated to get up this morning. Now. Yes, I felt like not getting up this morning, but you just gotta. Well, there's things for us to do. That's all to it. Just lots of things to do. And the Lord wants us to be on our guard and to pray for others and, you know, just love on each other and, and uh, just keep abreast of what He is saying to us. We know that. He's a good God. Mighty good God. And I sure do appreciate him. Gave me another day. Gave me another chance. I'll tell you. Gave me another chance. Not that I deserve it. By the way, this is Toby Mac, and uh, he's a gospel rapper, Toby Mac. I don't own copyright privileges. To Toby Max music, not in the least. I just uh, like listening. Come on, pray with me. I ain't gonna be with you long. I got things to do. You got things to do. Let's give the Lord a couple of minutes of our time and lift Him up and, and thank Him and praise Him. And just. Let the God in us arise so that we can go out there and let our light shine and glorify him. We need his protection as well. And we need him to bind fear. Because we're going forth as soldiers in his army. Remember that. Thank you, Father God, for this morning, for this glorious morning, this wonderful day. Lord, thank you for all that you're doing. Lord, for the rain, for the sunshine, for this season of our lives. Lord, help us, Father God, to stay focused. Help us to walk in love. Help us, Lord Jesus, to listen to your still small voice and to be obedient to your call. Lord, we need you today. Without you, we can do nothing. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed because he saved me. I'm blessed because he delivered me. I'm blessed because he healed me. I'm blessed because he died for me. I'm blessed because I can tell somebody about it. And the more I tell somebody about him, the more blessed I become. Go figure. You get paid. Mm -hmm. There are wages. Mm -hmm. Just like the wages of sin is death. The wages of uh, salvation. The wages of telling the world about him. The wages of letting your light shine pays off. It's Wednesday. 71 degrees so far. Going to be... Uh, like, I think they said something like, you know, it's not going to be too hot today. My son tells me down in uh, Texas, it's 108. Woohoo! So early in the summer, I mean, in the year, right? So early in the month, 108 degrees. Could you imagine what the summer is going to be like? Children, just be still and know that he's God. I want to talk to you about perfected praise. 
perfected praise. You know, we can um, we can be forced to praise God. We can praise Him because somebody told us to. We can praise Him because He's a good God and He knows all about us and that we have blessings on the way and we can praise Him because we're thankful and we can praise Him because He's good. There's so many things we can praise Him for, but sometimes on the inner man, there's some stuff in there that uh, we jump over when it's time to praise God. Perfected praise is when you praise the Lord out of a heart of purity and cleanliness and holiness. When you have don't have the, the junk that is created along the way, the... Um, a spirit of uh, unforgiveness, that spirit of regret, that re spirit of resentment, that spirit of jealousy, you know, created me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. That's how David, David was able to praise God. Perfected praise. It's a praise that comes from a childlike faith. Listen to this. Psalms 8 and 2. It says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength. You've ordained strength because the strength has come from praise. You want to be strong? You want to feel better? You want to do better? Want to overcome? Start praising. Start praising. Sing songs. Give thanks. Um, that's a secret. It's a secret of, uh, of your strength. And he tells us to praise him. Praise him in the, the timbrel and the cymbal. Praise him in, in the song and the dance. Praise him with the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Very important. Right? Smack dab in the middle of the Bible. The Lord tells us to praise him. Um, if you feel outward praise is drawing attention, attention to yourselves, you need to grow. Okay? You need to grow grow a little bit more in the Lord. You're not mature. You're still in self. You're conscious of what others are saying about you, and that goes for men of God. If you think your congregation should not praise God because praise draws attention, you need to mature. Either that or you need to talk to God and tell him to take out the entire Psalms, because it's full of praise. Get rid of, as a matter of fact, the author of the Psalms. Just get rid of it. Take David out of the book completely. If you think that your way of worship is the best, and clapping hands, and saying hallelujah, and dancing in the spirit, and and, and, and rejoicing is something that just draws attention to, then you know what you need to mature because you haven't read the word of God correctly. In your heart, you're still focused on the outer man. You're not focused on God. But perfected praise is something that comes out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. How does he perfect praise out of the mouth of babes and sucklings? Because when they praise, when you praise with that type of, 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 of faith, that type of initiative, that type of heart, 
that means you have forgiven. You have delineated fear. You are you are are are, are thankful and bold enough to say thank you. You're not conscious of man and what man thinks about you. Your mind is put on, on the Lord. Your mind is placed on the Lord and you are giving thanks because he's real and he's kept you alive and he's blessing your home and blessing your family. Satan can't handle you when you praise God. When you sit around and you think about what Sister Sarah is thinking about you or what Brother uh, uh, Bill is up to because he's saying thank you, then uh, Satan is, is ruling you. He's ruling your mind. But when you can come out of self and lift up the name of Jesus through the raising of the hands, through clapping your hands, through tapping your feet even, You've gone from the outer uh, uh, courts into the Holy of Holies. And your praise is being perfected because your mind is focused on him and him alone. Um, that's a frequency that, that the enemy doesn't want you to go into. The frequency of Jesus Christ. The frequency of praise. Um, he's envious of that realm. He can't get in there. Once you start thinking about how good God's been to you, he can't get in there. He tries his best. But the more you praise him, the stronger the, the shield becomes within you. Because there's so much to thank God for. Perfected praise. Perfected praise. Uh, you're allowing the, the Holy Spirit to blind your eyes to what is happening and open to them to what God is doing. Perfected praise. Um, when you start praising God like that, stuff starts to happen in your life. Your outlook becomes brighter. Your body begins to heal itself. See, I'm not walking around with any of the after effects of COVID. I can smell. I don't have a headache, sharp headaches. I'm not coughing due to what COVID left behind. I can taste too well. Almost. I say too well because I can eat too much. What I've tasted. That comes from praise. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. This is the body of Christ. Inside is the Holy Spirit. The church itself is a place, an organization where praise is encouraged. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise. I will be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. That's what the Lord wants us to do. So as we sit up in church, people... And sit up there because it looked good to come out your house and get in your car with your dressed up clothes and go. It looked good uh, on your resume to say, I belong to such and such church. It looked good on the outside. But what's happening behind those closed doors? The closed doors of your heart while you're sitting there looking at people. Look what she got on. Look what he's wearing. Wonder what's on his mind. 
Wonder who preaching today. We're past that. Child, please. It is he alone that has blessed us. And that's the end of me today. I won't say any more. Perfected praise. Perfected. When you come out of you, kids don't care how they look. I look at kids, they don't care how they look. They don't care if, if uh, the sun shine or the sun ain't shine. They're going to find somewhere to go play and have fun. They're going to enjoy themselves. They're going to laugh. They're going to sing. They're going to jump. They're going to hop. Why? Because they're happy. They don't have the, the cares of the world on their shoulders. Perfected praise comes out of flesh, out of this, uh, I got to look good and, and, and that don't look right and somebody going to talk about me kind of realm. You enter into the spirit of Christ, into the realm of the Holy of Holies. And I thank God for that. I want to just uh, add one thing before I go, and I got to go. I look at stuff like uh, statistics. I look at things. I looked at how many hits Pastor Adams got and compared them to the hits, when I'm saying hits, views, I mean views, on YouTube that he gets while he's here in Chattanooga. I look at the hits that he got while he was in California at Pastor Jones's church last Sunday. Astronomically high compared to who's watching down here in Chattanooga. We need to appreciate our pastors. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I wish my pastor, some of my pastors, because I know Brandon does, he goes to other places and preaches, preach the word and allows others into his pulpit. It's summertime. Go on out there and uh, the Lord al allows you to. Go talk to others. Other, sh other you know, uh, sheep of God's pasture. Go uh, uh, enjoy other people. Absence makes the heart, heart grow fonder. I don't know if that's in the Bible. But it sure is true. And we need to appreciate our men of God. We need to miss them from time to time. I don't know why it happens, but you appreciate people when you don't have them around you all the time. May God bless you and keep you. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. We don't have... Uh, the Lord around us, but we have the Holy Spirit. And when once that spirit is taken off of this earth, it's all about problems and troubles. I wouldn't chance it. I'd get saved now. I'm talking about you're going to miss the Holy Spirit when it leaves this earth. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and I'm just passing through. Have a wonderful day.